podcast episode 126, a weekly podcast created by gamers and streamers alike to discuss the topics in video game news from the previous week. We stream a new episode live for you every Friday night and release it to podcast services for you audio listeners every Monday. Services such as Apple, Google, Stitcher, Podbean, and so much more. So give us some love, a like, a follow, a comment, what have you on any platform you choose to consume us on, or go to our website, confreaksandgeeks.com to and not miss an episode. I am your resident Borg, and resistance is futile. With me, I have my two co-hosts, Mr. Smitty in my first seat. What you doing, mate? Oh, you know, just chilling out, getting down. We 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 uh, cranked through the uh, uh, Val's raid this week, earlier oh. in the week. So got that done. That was freaking awesome. Nice. Uh, always a good time uh, being able to play with the uh, uh, the clans. So, a lot of really, a lot of really good people uh, in there. So that was awesome. And then actually earlier this week, uh, uh, another one of my Kickstarter games <gasps> just dropped with their alpha. It's Ooh. called um, what the hell is it called? Sky Climbers. It's like a taming oh, kind of. It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very raw. I sent. I think I sent because they had sent me an extra key, and I sent it to to Dust. Did you? Really? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, because he he likes all kinds of weird like he plays so games much. and stuff like that. Yeah. So I was like, ah, oh, you know what I mean, whatever. Um, but yeah. So like that started out. So I'm hoping to get some streams in with that. I played another one of the uh, uh, my Kickstarter games uh, called Earth from Another Sun. Uh, that's coming nicely in development, and then obviously we had some more scum going this week so overall like it was pretty it was another things are going to pick up work-wise here in the next week or so but the last couple of weeks have been really chilling nice and i've 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 really been enjoying uh that time so nice i'm glad to hear it my friend and obviously davis is not here because i'm leading the charge so with us is our lovely friend zukara the tall aka zuzu what's going on my friend Oh, What's you know, called? I just, uh, I, I know I was backpacking someone through uh, the Destiny raid. Uh, who? Oh, oh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, buddy. Here to talk <laughs> shit, tell us everything. <laughs> oh, man. Well, first of all, my back hurts from, oh, uh, man, how much caring that was. There nah. it is. Um, no, Smitty's <laughs> awesome in that raid, man. We, we breezed through that really well. It was a good time. Um, yeah. And uh, otherwise, uh been playing Pokemon and uh, a little bit of Elden Ring when I can. So Ooh, uh, nice. just living my best uh, life across the gaming spectrum. <laughs> I feel that. I understand. Uh, and uh, what about I, you, Lex? Good question. Yeah. I started streaming again this week. I know. Yeah. Woohoo. Uh, I streamed Monday and Tuesday and canceled Wednesday because I threw my back out in the shower. Uh, that was fun. Apparently, you cannot scream you know, wash my back and then wash my toes in that sequence, mm. uh, throws your back out. Didn't, did you know? Now, you know, uh, Sometimes. so yeah, I had emergency injections on Wednesday and thought I'd be good. And I was like, you know, I'm going to take a nap, my naps. And I know my naps are at least four hours. I don't know why I was like, I'm gonna take a nap and come back. Nope. Mm -mm. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Uh, so yeah, I've just been chilling yesterday. I slept all day cause I'm an adult child and I can, and uh, I feel great today. So that's a lie. But we're going to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Damn. Yeah. Sometimes it'd be like that. I totally get it. Like yeah. every day now, I just wake up with the with, with some sort of body pain or something. I'm just like, Where does, what's happening? You know what I mean? It's like, what's going what on happened? here? Like, why, why? What yeah. happened? What happened? <laughs> I, 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 like not too long ago, I was fidgeting in my shirt. And I'm very particular. I have a collection. I'm a t-shirt collector, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm very particular about my shirts. And I was kind of fidgeting around. Adam goes, what's wrong? And I was like, my skin just hurts. And he goes, what's that mean? I go, I don't know. It just hurts. Uh, but that's like, I have neuropathy. So all of my nerves are basically firing all the time. And they're like, ah, we hate life. So, you know, some days I'm like, my shirt hurts. And that makes absolutely no sense to anyone but me so you know it's one of those weeks my shirt hurts tell him bowie so there it is yeah but you guys don't want to hear his jibber jab oh no 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 i don't know who's going first but someone's gonna go first yeah you do it's zuzu yeah it's zuzu but uh if you don't know how this works uh we're gonna talk 
right? And we don't want just to hear ourselves. No, no, we want to hear from you guys. So please, in the comments, we'd love for you to discuss with us um, so that we can bring you into the conversation, rope you in, all that rigmarole. And uh, we want to hear from you guys. We don't we don't want, you know, a soundboard of just us. No, no. I want to talk to you all too. Uh, so first up, Zuzu, tell us what's going on in the gaming space, sir. So, uh, today, uh, we got news of yet another service to pay monthly for. Oh, boy. I'm sure everybody oh, yay. is thrilled here <laughs> opening up my wallet. GTA Plus. That's right. Instead of Grand Theft Auto 6, we're getting a subscription for GTA Online. Um, <laughs> it's uh, going to be launching on the 29th. And let's see. You get 500 grand uh, a month. For, for doing this, uh, which in GTA really doesn't go that far. I was about to say, that doesn't sound like a lot. It is not. <laughs> but you're supposed to get discounts, uh, some money and RP bonuses every month, um, and then a bunch of upgrades uh, on stuff if you have it, like if you have uh, certain vehicles and jazz. It, if you love GTA, I think it's an awesome idea. Uh I mean, GTA is still huge. Uh, every time I look on Twitch, the numbers are out of control for that game. It's staggering how many people still play that, and it blows my mind. Mm-hmm. Like, they've made so much money off of this game, and clearly they're not done. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. That So it, it, was there anything that, like, have they talked about, like, what prompted them? to do this or they're just basically like hey we we've created this this plus uh subscription that you can subscribe to here's incentives uh you have the choice to do so or not but then that kind of feels pay to playish to me you know what i'm saying like not a lot of people aren't going to be able to afford that or that's clearly not going to be a priority in a lot of people's lives however you're getting something in currency in game that then you can use to, you know, get, get better weapons or whatever. I don't, I, you know, I don't really know what kind of incentives, uh, what that means other than the, the monetary ones, but, uh, it, it, it just seems like an unnecessary, it's just like, Hey, here's a little extra something so we can get some more money. I mean, they are literally milking this game for everything it's worth. And hey, dude, what, what I got nothing to say. Like, clearly, you have created a game and a gaming experience that people have been able to enjoy throughout the years, regardless of how much has come out and and the changes in technology. It's still a strong game, so I've got to give props to that. And and uh, but yeah, this is this is something people are going to buy. This there's going to be people that have extra cash to to do that and and benefit off of it. I wouldn't say necessarily like this is something for me personally. I'm like I I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Like I don't care. I don't play the game enough to be like you know what I think I do that. Have I done that for Destiny? Absolutely. And to me, it was absolutely worth it. So. You know, to to each their own, and and whoever whoever's uh, um, uh, purchasing it, and if you can afford it, then then there you go. There's a little added bonus for you. Um, but yeah, what what are your thoughts, likes? I kind of feel the same way you do. Uh, this was never a game that I played. Uh, uh, that's not true. I did play GTA um, with my buddies. It, this was like a Saturday night. Like Saturdays is for dudes nights, and mm -hmm. uh, you know we would kind of like role play, and it was fun. Uh, super nerdy shit. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm just not really, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather sit down and play Vampire Masquerade and like have my book and flip through pages. You know what I mean? Um, I don't need no money to be a vampire. Fuck you. So I just, <laughs> do I think that they're doing a business wise? I think they're doing fantastic. I think as far as marketing, they have done everything and anything that they could and they've done it beautifully um i think their their community is huge and vast and i think they've done a really good job of of keeping it afloat uh you know so why not but uh it's just not one of those things for me i, I do love watching my friends uh play gta and i that's kind of how i got into funhouse uh, if anyone mm. ever watched funhouse love funhouse mm -hmm. oh, i was a Oh my the god! The Willems are the most hilarious power couple on the internet. Just throwing tell it out me there. about 
about it. Like, throw me in a room with those two. I'm happy. But Bruce and I, I met Bruce. Bruce Ooh, is my buddy, jelly. okay? I got to play against Bruce. Um at TwitchCon, someone's got oh, footage yeah, of it. I remember that. I, I got like, on right stage there. and I was just like, "Yeah, man, yeah. I'm like shaking." Bruce the whole is hilarious time. too, man. He was like, "I don't want to touch your dog." I was like, "You can touch her." Like, <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Um, so yeah, that's how I got into Funhouse was their GTA stuff, and so I lived mm. kind of vicariously through them, and I've seen it all done. So I'm like, "Man, it's not for me." If it was Five Nights at Freddy's, I'd be like. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Right. You know, I don't know what it is, but like the horror genre for me forever is is my like, oh, were you thinking of playing this, Lex? No. Oh, it's horror. Okay. Yes, I was. I am mm-hmm. now. Um, I don't know what it is. I, I, I need that scare in my life. It gives me, reminds me I'm breathing or something. Who knows? But I think they've done a great problem. job. Exactly. I think they've done a really got, good job marketing. Uh, to their audience and keeping everybody in- still interested. And I mean, applause to them. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, not for me. But I-, I see the value in it. But give us more money monthly. That's how much is it a month? Uh, I think it was 500000 Oh my lord. <laughs> Imagine if it was 500000 no, 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 no. oh, Okay. <laughs> to get from it, currency. you get 500 <laughs> grand and you also get discounts <laughs> if you buy shark cards. Which- okay. How much is? I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that means. Shark cards are just like basically paying cash for in-game money. Like GTA has always been pay to win. Like this is nothing new. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So you? I mean, you get the you get those bonuses. Okay. Uh, from that. Uh, taking it to chat, General says, I'm not a fan of any of the GTA games, but I do remember completing Vice City, but 3 is way harder than Vice City. I, the only one that I've completed was 3. I don't think I played Vice City, or I may might have played a little bit of that, and I didn't play San Andreas or something like that, but like... GTA games were the first time I realized that open world games may not be my bag. It depends on an open world game because there's just so much stuff to do Same. in this. It was overwhelming for me, Same. and I end up just being like, "I can't. I don't. I'm not going to do anything. Can't I don't. Know, I don't know what to do." There's yeah, too many it, arrows. it was just too much. Nope. Yeah, I'm giving it. It's funny, but I, I started the campaign for GTA Five um, <laughs> here a couple of weeks ago just to see if maybe you know I played a little a little bit of it and stuff like that, just to see if I can actually get through because now that i think about it i don't think i've ever beaten a. I don't think i've ever beaten a gta i've played gta 3 but i did not i don't even remember there actually being a campaign like that's how lost i was like i, I was like i don't want to do dude. like I, I don't remember what's happening anymore and like things got weird and, and that's what it was uh monkey blood says this game is like the most successful individual product ever how much more money do they need from it <laughs> Like I said, dude, they are That's they are they though. are milking it dry. They said there's gonna be, but they, the thing is, like Ashes. you'd think they're milking milking it dry, but the, like people who play it so, so much, much still. And this is uh, like, this is useful to them. And if that's the case, then like good on you, man. Uh, can I just say, Donk made the best comment. <clears throat> uh-huh. I would rather staple my nuts to my desk chair. Then pay six dollars a month to play GTA Six. Thank you, dog, for your input. We love you and we appreciate it. Thank you. That is yeah. All. I get that. I completely understand that sentiment. That that is literally I'm in that how. Boat. Just like yeah, I'm just like I could care less about this. Just has zero effect on me whatsoever. If this is something that people want to do and a game that they enjoy doing it, who am I to to be like? Hey, and clearly, you know, clearly they've created a product that people absolutely love and they're willing to continue to pay. And then they, they want to take it another step further and pay a subscription uh, and, and they get some sort of incentive still, uh, whether it be in-game currency and, and there's those incentives. Then, hey, man, whatever. And, and you're saying to you that it's always kind of been play to win. It's like, all right. You know, like if that, hey, if everybody's an understanding yeah. as to what is happening, hey, do do you, boo boo, do exactly. you? Mm-hmm. I feel that. Yep. So interesting, interesting stuff uh, for sure. We'll see how that. When did uh, I'm sorry? Did you say when it rolls out? Yeah, the 29th, and it was just announced today. So like, it is. Oh, it is on the fast track to happen. 
Uh, yeah, they got that. Uh, they got that up quick. Yeah. They're like, look, we're not sleeping on this. We'll announce it today. Coming out next week. What? Right. right. <laughs> Be sure to tune into the okay. CFG podcast for more breaking GTA news. Yeah. Yes. No doubt. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, thank you for that. We appreciate it. Yeah. I think I'm next, right? Yeah. So, uh, speaking of giant companies, uh, Netflix. They bought another game studio. And this one intrigued me because it did. Shut up. So Netflix buys another video game studio as it builds out its gaming business. We already have talked about them swallowing up two. This is their third since they've announced their plans to move into video games uh, last year. So this one's interesting because it's a small independent. Um, it's a studio based out of Allen, Texas. And... This one is more of a mobile game developer, which we'd kind of discussed previously. I know it's been a hot minute, but bloop, remember, we talked about this before. They gobbled up and we were discussing how it would, you know, pertain to the Netflix and would there be more money uh, as far as like per month? Would it be optional if you wanted to be in or out? We still don't know all those things, but they are moving into the video game space. But this one is a mobile game. And I saw it coming. I called it prior. I said they're going to start with mobile gaming because everybody has one of these stupid rinky dinks and we all mess with it and we all get bored and eventually you're going to play a game. So it's accessible to everybody. Um, this one is only 130 employees. It's their third studio since uh, they've discussed moving into the gaming space. They didn't say how much they paid for it, which who really cares? Um but they have far fewer development studios compared with companies like Microsoft and Sony, obviously. Um, so we're not really sure. Like, their emerging strategy is obviously they're going to start with the mobile space is what it feels like um, before they kind of move on. Uh, and I thought it was interesting. Obviously, we've had Facebook come, come through and they're like, we're going to change everything and suck it because the multiverse. And we're like, okay. Oh, Okay, uh, if you're anything like me, I I I I, uh, I don't care. I just don't care. I'm not gonna walk around my house with my thing with my goggles on. I just that's, that that doesn't seem like it's for me. And if it's for you, that's cool. We don't have to agree. Um, but I thought it was really interesting. Uh, out of all of what they could have purchased, that they went with this. But I kind of saw it coming too. You know what I mean? What did you guys mm. think? Out of curiosity. Um, I feel like they got really angry about hearing Game Pass is the Netflix of games and said, now hold up a second. Um, <laughs> otherwise, unless it's a video game that involves a shirtless Henry Cavill, um, I'm probably not going to play any of these. Um, <laughs> I, I just, I'm, it could be, I, I'm, I'm terrible with name pronunciation. I'm so sorry. I'm teasing. Oh, no, you're <laughs> Um, I don't know why we're watching. My name is Bife Smitty, but sorry, uh, shut up. You didn't see it. <laughs> I saw it, man. <laughs> Queued up for that Destiny lore. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know how long Netflix. I feel like this is an experiment for Netflix because they clearly uh, need more money as they keep raising prices and keep trying things to nickel and dime, uh, possibly. So, and. Their business structure, uh, as far as I've understood it in years past, hemorrhages money. Um, like they have a lot of debt. Oh yeah. So th this this very much feels like an experiment. That it, you know what? Maybe it'll go somewhere. I don't think it will. Well, here's here's an interesting perspective. So think about it this way: Netflix originals have made them tons of money, but it took a really long time for them to come out with. Netflix originals, um, because a lot of the companies were like, yeah, we don't really see the point in that. Or their, I'm sorry, their investors didn't really see a point in that. And then they did it, and it was a freaking hit. Um, so they're very slow to move in on stuff, and I feel like they're going to be slow to move into this as well. I don't think that they're going to jump in, you know, both feet first into the water. This is definitely going to be a slow process for them. What do you think, Smitty? Um, I was just looking. Can I... It said, like, I, I wasn't sure if the, this, the games aren't available now. No. 
We don't even okay, we don't cause... even have a preview of what they're gonna do. We just know that they okay. gobbled up three because we we talked about this last year when they purchased two gaming studios. So right. now this is their third, and this one is mostly into mobile, which I had called it. I was like, if they're gonna come out with anything, the smart move would be mobile because everybody plays a mobile game, right? Um, so this is their third in that that suck up. That yeah. They're doing. Yeah, and, and it seems like they are focusing on the mobile sector more so than uh I guess like trying to battle out with with the with some of the other ones with Microsoft and and yeah. PlayStation coming out with stuff. So this is a little more niche and we do know like you're saying there are a ton of mobile users, there are a ton of mobile gamers. And I'll say it, Netflix there's one thing that Netflix does really well is streaming. So the fact that they're and they're using and they're and they're working off of a smaller scale uh well I don't know necessarily not smaller scale, but at least like file sizes, things like that wise, uh, being able to push that stuff out and kind of use that as like a, a, a test, um, for, or, or almost like a soft launch, uh, you know, and then maybe they're working on some bigger titles or something like this. I think this could be huge, uh, because again, their streaming is, is on point. So I would love to see more competition within that cloud gaming space and to see what they offer. Not to mention, if you're already paying for Netflix right. and this stuff is included, I can't remember if there's any kind of price point. They haven't told um, us Or anything. they haven't said anything, We're right? We're just okay. guessing. We're just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's all speculation right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I think this is something exciting, you know what I mean, to... to Take a look at uh, and and see what they end up doing with it because they've got some nice IPs as well. Uh, so the fact that they're going and and I'm not familiar with like any of the like the real mobile because I'm not really a mobile gamer. Um, I actually try to stay away from it because I feel like most mobile games are super addicting. <sighs> yes, uh, <laughs> he plays them all night long. Like he'll wake up and press touch his phone screen and then rolls over and he's snoring two seconds later. Like he nonstop. <laughs> I don't know what he plays. I couldn't tell you, but all he does is play mobile games. Dust, hello? <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's playing, playing a game right now. right now. I don't doubt it. <laughs> he's probably in a meeting not paying attention to his boss. Listen to Draco, goddammit. Stop playing on your phone. Uh, no, there it he, is. All the time. And, and sometimes I'll notice it looks a little different. I'm like, is that a new one? He's like, yeah, this is like my ninth. I'm like, oh, great. Right. What do Man, they do? At my no peak, idea. I could have played. Two mobile games. That it's, is it's horn pup. That right? is a skill. I can't do that. I don't know. I'm I might be exaggerating. I don't but it literally his phone is going all the time. And I, I plug it in at night sometimes because he leaves it on the yeah. pillow and I'll touch it and it's like, Oh, it's a game. Ha <laughs> and people are battling. I'm like, whatever, I just plug it in. If I could get Raid Shadow Legends to connect to my PC account. I would absolutely have it up all the time. I sometimes play Stream Raiders on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> just getting it in. Just getting it in while I'm doing things. I love little games like that. And they're so easy to just like do little things and progress. And like, so you still get the satisfaction of progressing, getting new things, getting different, different uh, characters. There's obviously that, like, I'm not Everybody even going to lie to you. I'm totally throwing a little bit of money at it to get some of the stupid things to try to get uh, better characters. I did it. I did it. I'm not ashamed of it. Um, and I think this is why this is great for them, especially based off of their their price point. I think for them, uh, at least from their their the film division and and TV series divisions and stuff like that, we know they spend a ton of money producing and developing these things. So this gaming sector not only will that be a boon uh, in itself to them as a company, but I think it could also prop and, and mitigate some of the losses that they're getting from that film and and TV side. Um, but maybe it, it's not at quite as much of a cost um, uh, as it would be doing like full-fledged uh, games for different consoles and, and blah, blah, blah. But also, I think it also positions them in a place to where they are ready to make those moves or they are ready to, you know what, we're going we're gonna to create our own uh, video game uh, uh, company or whatever and then start publishing games. Um, I think it puts them in a, in a, a pretty good spot, so... Hopefully it's something that that they stick with, with I guess. Uh, I I don't. Yeah, you know, stick with. 
Um, hopefully it's something that they that they do. And I think it could be successful for them. So I'm, I'm curious to see what that means, especially uh, cloud gaming and streaming and stuff like that, because, you know, they do it one of the best um, and they've been doing it for a long time. So uh, they are definitely ahead of the game when it comes to that. Agreed. Agreed. Well, thank you, boys. Uh, last but not least. It's oh, yeah. Schmitty. Yeah, we got to and, and this is something that we talked about, too, here uh, a few months ago when they originally talked about uh, there's been all the all the moves and, and, and the shaking and this and that of, of Microsoft and PlayStation gobbling up studios. And and we've talked about it a lot. Uh, but as far as they're they're within the the cloud gaming sector, we had talked about and they had announced earlier in the year about how they're going to be basically combining PS Plus and PS now into one um basically service it, it is it'll be their version essentially of game pass is what we've been able to deduce uh and and, it, and we've gotten some leaks uh this week in terms of this and it sounds like this is going to be getting announced uh here next week uh right now it it is codenamed uh what the hell is it codenamed spartacus uh but essentially like i said and and i can't remember if they've said anything about price points uh, within this, but essentially this is going to give us the abilities. I, I believe it's going to be like kind of like a tiered system. And I don't know how that works. Um, whereas like you'll get under a certain tier, you'll have access to certain games within PS now, but then also you still get the same bonuses and incentives that you're already getting from uh, PS plus uh, is my understanding of it. I don't know if that, price is going to increase at all when they mash the two together um but again you can't play online without ps plus so if you play online you already have ps plus uh and and it's really just seeing what they do this is like for me in terms of this it's it's i i think they have and and there's been within this article here by jason shire um there there were some some anonymous people that were working on the project and they've stated that they don't plan on uh bringing new games day one uh to this this pass that's in line with what they're already doing as is and that's going to be a huge downside to even wanting to consider going and checking checking this out is like that's great you know what i mean like but there's a reason why people don't really subscribe to ps now it's like you don't have anything there's nothing really on there like i'm not gonna go back and 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 try to play i mean maybe i will i don't know but like it just seems like a big step just to play nostalgic games you got to give me an incentive uh to want to 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 want to subscribe like xbox or like game pass does such as look dude we got 32 games coming out they're gonna be out on game pass day one uh you know easily sold on that but again i can see from sony side they're probably uh you know they're about them numbers and 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 hitting that budget and and getting that stuff and i feel like they're having a harder and and a a it has not been a smooth transition from them getting to the old philosophy and the way they did things to where the world is now and what other people are doing. I feel like it has been very, very uh, hit or miss on their parts and, and what's in fa- what's effective and, and what's not. So it'll be interesting to see how people receive this. I'm, I'm curious to see what they do, what their price points are. But for me, this isn't, like what what what's the point of getting it? Why? Other than the fact that it's lumped in with PS Plus now. So basically anyone that has PS Plus is now going to basically you're just forcing PS now on me, but like what's the lowest tier? Cause I don't I don't care. And 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 can my price or is my price going to stay the same or is it gonna increase because of this service that I don't even want? Yeah, no, I, I totally <sighs> Uh, I'm weird about it. So they've already lowered their their price in the past. So it used to be $100 a year for PS Now. Uh, hmm? it, yeah, it used to be. You oh, know, you said for PS Now? PS Now was $100 a year? $100 a year, yeah. What? Because I would ask for it for Christmas uh, so I could play Overwatch. Oh. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, and then they lowered it. Terrible. Why didn't you just game buy the game? Ten bucks a month, so which is one hundred and twenty a year. Well, it was so it was so terrible. I could yeah. play online with friends. Yeah. Wait, you wait, wait. You it's, said PS PS Plus or PS Now? Uh, which one is the one that I can play online with friends? PS Plus. Oh, that's, that's plus. plus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I thought I you were talking about now. I was like, what? I thought, that, I, I thought that was sixty bucks a year when they started it. Um, I know it got lowered, but yeah, at one point it was like a hundred bucks, and maybe I purchased now and I screwed up yeah, originally. I, I wonder if it was like makes... a combo because yeah, well, I remember thing, when they I, like, I thought it was like 60. when they launched it uh, with the PS4 launch. I remember vividly it being sixty because I was like, oh, they're matching the Xbox price point. Mm, yeah, no, I I do remember it being lowered. Um, here's the thing: if you're not offering me anything that why am I buying anything? I'm already paying $60 for a freaking game. If it's on PS5, what, it's $70, $80 now? I just... 70, I, I, I feel like yeah. I'm bleeding money. And I, honestly, I would end my Xbox Live if every month I didn't see a new game that I'm actually interested in playing. Mm-hmm. I go to I go to end my membership. I'm not kidding. Every month. Every month I'm, I'm sitting there with my freaking mouse about to click it. And then I see out of the corner of my eye... <gasps> A new horror game. <laughs> Shit. Got her. And then I, yeah, th- got him. Got him. Every oh, time. Damn it, you and got I, me again. <laughs> and I'm like, I only got 20 bucks in my bank account and that's $9.99. Oh, shit. I gotta, oh, I gotta, I gotta oh, stop no. following someone on Twitch. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that's what's happened to all my subs. So sorry, guys. I love you all. But, uh, oh, game pass. Sony hasn't given me anything that makes me want it no first off i can't find the ps5 half the time right so even if i get a ps5 great okay finally i got one so what i'm gonna play spider-man that is the only game that i want to play and guess what i have a smitty and guess what i have a little smitty and i am over there babysit and i'm sure if i said hey can i just sit here and play shit he'd be like go ahead so why I, i have no incentive anymore Am I getting too old for this? Oh my god, maybe. Who knows? I just eh, eh, nothing says. Come here, Lex. Here, look, can we have your money? And I go, yeah, sure. Here you go. No, I don't feel that. Xbox every week does that. I don't. Even, I've never even owned an Xbox. And Game Pass is already on their end. They've already enticed me in several different ways. They always have something up, and they've figured it out. Their little algorithm has figured me out. They don't show me happy shit anymore. No, no. They show me the murderous <laughs> horror that I want to see. And I go, <laughs> I want it. Have I played any of those games? Absolutely not. I haven't even downloaded half of them. They freaking get me every month. I'm like, damn it. All right. I'll stay. I guess. Oh, take my money. Sony has offered me nothing lately. And I'm a Sony fanatic. I remember my mom said, what do you want? A PlayStation or an Xbox? You can only have one. I was like, I want a PlayStation. Because they had the exclusives. Now, I don't. I just don't care. I don't care. I think I've gotten to the part in life where I just I stopped caring. That's, Except when they show me horror games. That's it. It's funny that uh, <laughs> the way you feel, considering that you, you're a bigger fan of Sony... Um, I am not a fan of Sony. I am actually. I know. I got issues with Sony, personal I issues. I know. <laughs> and yet, with this whole PS Plus situation, um, like I'm, I'm mixed. I'm like m- middle ground here. It feels like a better version of the Nintendo Switch Online, but a worse version of Game Pass. Um, the fact that they're not having day one releases on there, that that right there for me kind of killed it. Um, I, I was somewhat interested maybe even hopeful that maybe uh since they've been starting to to support pc players a bit more maybe they'd pull a game pass and maybe they bring it over to pc and i'd be eyeing it more but even if they do no day one games i'm out like that that killed it for me right there the minute it was like no day one i'm out there's too much other competition. There's Humble Bundle. There's there's Fanatical. There's all kinds of things that you can get a ton of games for super cheap. Yeah. You've got to give people a reason to not only pay that money, but then consistently pay that money and keep going back and, and literally having a Lex situation where like, you know what? I'm going to cancel, but oh, snap. Y'all yes. got this on here? Yes. I'm back, baby. 
I'm staying. I ain't going nowhere. Yes. Um, <laughs> you know, and it's just, you know, for me, it just does not, it doesn't hit the mark at all. There's nothing there that, that I want it, anything that I've wanted to get that is exclusive to PlayStation. I've gotten already. So everything else that they've shown me, I can play on other games or other, other, I have another way of being able to play it. Uh, if I don't already, and, and really this is, this is supposed to be a way, and I can see that, I guess, um, a way for, for people that are not, this is, I feel more geared towards people that are not within the Sony ecosystem to try to drive them in there. I just don't know that it's enough of an incentive, uh, to do so. And it all really comes down to the games that are available to play. Right. And and what is Sony's biggest things are the exclusive games. So like if you're not giving me and the, the access to that to those exclusive games, what the hell am I doing? Why am I even doing it? Right. I got Humble Bundle. Exactly. I got Amazon Luna. Got you know what I mean? Pass. Like I got I got I got too much stuff that I don't even need. Son. I've got a Smitty. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, and here's the thing too. Yeah. I think I in, and I am. I I am a huge fan of Sony. I always have been. I I knew as a broke child and not having parents that were basically both starving artists, I knew that I had to make the right choice, darn it. And the best choice was the one that obviously had all of the exclusives. Um, yeah, here's the thing though. I have arthritis now and yes, I, you're young Lex. Thank you. I know. Uh, it, genetics. I suck. I don't know. Uh, but I can only play a keyboard and mouse now. And Yes, I would love to enjoy like haptic feedback and all of that, but it's just not it's it's not for me. And you know, well, you can play keyboard in motion, no PlayStation. I can. There's delay and it sucks. So, you know, I just uh, I don't know. I've I'm getting old. I'm getting old, and I just I just don't care apparently anymore. And neither does Obi because she keeps just busting in that back door behind me. But <laughs> I, Tony's just. It, uh, Here's the thing. If they said, we'll give you like Xbox Live and you can play on your PC, Lex, just for you, I'd say, blah, 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 give it to me. I, I, I <laughs> Would I actually play any of the games? Probably freaking not. But I, I'd, at least I'd be like, okay, all right, I see you. I freaking see you. I can play Spider-Man now. Ha ha. No, please say it in the Hank Hill voice for me. I can play Spider-Man now. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. I just, I, there's, I don't, I, I, I have nothing anymore. I have nothing. I don't care. They're not giving you anything. It, 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 what? Yeah, it's pretty it, weak. It, it's, it's pretty, it's, it just does nothing for me. It's and, underwhelming. And, It's super underwhelming. And the fact, too, that, I mean, you lay out, I mean, that is right there. If I can clearly see a big difference in, oh, Game Pass is going to give me 32 games day one. Uh, Or a PlayStation is going to be games that I already own because, you you know, they came out. When Spider-Man 3 comes out, that's when you get that. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing, though. I already have Spider-Man 2. I haven't even played it yet. But I do, or not Spider Man Two. I'm sorry. Uh, I was uh, like, Miles Morales. got a hookup. I did yeah, not know. Yeah, about yeah. That. What? Saying, I'm still under NDA. What? Here's, here's Spider. <laughs> Whoops. I'm playing. Here's I'm, the kicker. I beat Spider Man. <laughs> I don't remember the freaking ending, y'all. I don't remember it. What? I beat Spider Man. I know. Years. I don't remember it. Hi, I've had was, four brain really surgeries. Good. Welcome to the show. Um, I don't remember the ending. I don't remember the ending. So I'd have to freaking play it again and then play Miles Morales. And that seems like a lot of freaking effort, man. And I do love Spider-Man, but do I love him that much? Mm. Yes. Now, if Sony said, hey, you Tony Stark lovers, we've got an Iron Man game. I'd be like, <gasps> take yeah, all that. of my money. I mean, that's called Marvel's Avenger. No, it was I'm called gonna- Anthem and we hated it. <laughs> Nope. Come on, bro. <laughs> Not even mean? the other I know how that ends. I'm good. What do you mean? Now. You can be Tony Stark in Avengers. I can yeah, go play Tony like Stark Anthem right now. I just need to go grab Adam. But that's <laughs> not the point. <laughs> Adam's like, wait, what? Um, no, I, I mean that would honestly like that would be the only thing that would that would be like, yeah, okay. I will I will break my hands for this. Would be a Tony Stark game. I don't care. 
I'm pretty sure that would be Sony exclusive. And don't say Marvel so you can though. juice me. It would be it would be Sony exclusive. My ass, it would be Sony exclusive. I'm like, oh man. All right. Well, and very quickly, I think another big thing too is that with Xbox Game Pass, you have the ability to play on Xbox or your PC. So, am I going to be able to do that on PlayStation? Maybe. I highly, highly, I don't know. I don't know. Highly doubted, though. Remember, Pick God me. of War just came out on Steam. Final Fantasy VII yeah. is on Epic. Uh, and Horizon and Zero Dawn is on Steam. Like, they are, like, dipping their toe into the PC e- ecosystem. So, right. hopefully? Yeah. That would be the only way, dude, I feel that. I mean, I think that that would bring it some success. Uh, would be would be doing that because right now again you're talking about you're talking about and it, it is kind of weird because you're talking about people that already own and have are within the the Sony ecosystem. I feel in order for it to be successful, it needs to bring in people outside of the Sony ecosystem into it. What better way to do that than being in allowing it and allowing people to play PlayStation games directly on their PC from some sort of, you know, whatever. Yeah. I don't know how they how you'd go about doing it, but I mean, but think about it this way too, though. We have talked about in the past with Sony how they have a forever fan base and they freaking know it. They know it. Mm-hmm. And, and they've made some weird stumbles in the past as far as like marketing and pricing goes. And, and we've commented on it. They still have their people. And at the end of the day, are they going to just rely on that? They might. They just might. In, in Sony's pe- defense, Xbox has done way worse lately, though. <laughs> True, true. Until no, recently, no comment. But you know, I just, uh, I don't know. I, you know, I would hope that they would go the same route. Like, hey, day one, you got it. Merry Christmas. You can play it on your PC. Are they going to actually do it though? Probably not. Probably not. Why would right. they? That's not as. That's not necessarily a smart move for them. They that was bleeding money for them. I I think I could be wrong. What do I they're know? not fully committed. They're not fully committed to to that uh, to that cloud based and subscription based uh, business. They've That's not been. how their business is no. built. Well, their I mean, they, still, they don't have the infrastructure the for games. cloud like Microsoft does. Microsoft nope. exactly has way more resources than Sony does. So Sony would have to rely on some sort of partner for the cloud based stuff. For sure. Which they did. I mean, they bought into Microsoft's cloud-based yeah, uh, uh, Jordan, stuff. Uh, they did. Yeah, yeah. So it's like I imagine because I was like, there's no way they can start from scratch. You know, they didn't play nice with other people. Now, now you're gonna have to 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 fork up some money because at this point in time, you're you're too far behind to try developing something and going through those trials and tribulations as a company. Right. You'd be dead before before you catch up uh, with the technology. So they had no choice at that point. But you know, to me, it's it's about what they do with that buy-in, with that what you know. And again, I don't know what that looks like from from uh, their endpoint, you know, and 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 yeah. how that works on a back end. Uh, but hopefully, they're able to utilize something like that and move forward. Because I feel like without it, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna really lag behind this business model that they have. Is is it's still obviously profitable, but. The 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 tides of change are are, are here, For the and long run. if they don't make that shift, they're going to find themselves lagging. Yeah, I will and I say, think now is I the think time. I know how committee's going to get convinced into buying it. I just realized. They're gonna, <laughs> well, I, I, I know this is exactly what's going to happen. Now I'm predicting yeah. it right now. Okay. Twenty twenty two. Remember, prediction. Sony owns. Bungie now. They're going to put some Destiny exclusive on there, and Smitty's going to say, "I don't care. I'm buying it." No, dude. Th- here's the thing about that. The only reason I stopped playing on PlayStation was because the ca- the DLC stuff doesn't carry over. Yeah. And I've got a big problem with that. It's like I'm not buying this multiple times to be able to play in different places. I want, you know, it doesn't. It shouldn't matter. I own the game. I own the stuff. I Give paid you me. your money, Destiny. I paid you way more than your money. You know, what I mean, not way more. I've gotten my money's worth for sure. Um, but I, I, I can't do that. 
uh, even if there were now, now does that mean that I would be like, you know what? I'm no longer playing on PC. I'm going straight PlayStation. I don't think so. Cause I don't even have friends on there really that play anymore. So Same. that'd be very lonely. Yeah. Oh, I'm not but, saying you're going to go over the PlayStation's play. ecosystem. I'm saying you're just going to get the subscription for whatever bonus it gives you in the game. That's well, how they're going to Well, my it. thing is I'm already going to be opted in because of uh PS plus. Like I'm oh, not getting rid man. of PS Plus, so with them combining it, it's just it's just a matter of like, you know, are they gonna are they just gonna give me a love tap or are they gonna blast us with the price? Uh, but yeah, I I will do it. But again, that's where I'd have a problem because I'm already invested and and I have you know no problem with all right, dude. I'm giving you the money to be able to play online and do multiplayer, but don't try to raise that price for a product that I'm not ever going to use and I have zero desire for. Yeah, that I will call shenanigans. I think Agreed. they'll have their tier system. I think whatever the first tier is will probably base yeah prices pluses right now i would hope i don't i don't see sony shooting themselves in the foot with that at least at least (laughs) like with the offerings in there for sure i feel like they're 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 not doing great if you know it really does turn out there is no day one releases on there but We'll Here's see. my question to you, Smitty. Why the hell are you playing, paying for PS Plus when you don't play a game that uh, requires <sighs> playing with other people on the interwebs? I was. I was because okay. I play. So I got Call of Duty. Anthem Call of two? Duty, I always get on PlayStation. Oh, okay. And yeah, yeah. I always I always get those, although Wait. I'm, I'm kind of done with that series. Smitty, are you playing Call of Duty currently? No, I'm not currently. Okay. So why yeah, but if you want to go in and be like, why are you paying all these subscriptions for shit you're not using? You would literally I know. It would blow I've your been fucking to your mind. House. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Every time I, I have use good this intentions, remote, and then I'm just like, oh, why do I even have this? Is all the things. Why do I still have this? Yeah, watch it here. It. Don't worry. I can watch it when I'm babysitting you over there. You can watch it everywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I almost, I almost charged you to watch Carnage the other day. I was like. Oh, Smitty wouldn't notice twenty six dollars for me to watch Carnage. I absolutely wouldn't yeah, notice twenty six dollars. I'm like, who the hell did this? <laughs> the hell did this? Lincoln, not me. Um, I would have messed up. I would have been out. No, I wouldn't do that. Ever. I'm sorry, <laughs> Lincoln. Oh my god, Dustin. But I, I didn't notice the charge. I was like, oh, and I like backed <laughs> out. I was like, no, no, no. <sighs> And then I saw Spider Man three. Just in case like, you start the publication back is up. Is that death. free? No. Um, <laughs> no, you you do have every subscription known to man that for and uh, everything. It's out of control. You have everything. I know. I it's like out it. of control. But I do have that. I do live like that sometimes. But it's okay. regardless, we'll see how we'll see how it plays out. Though we'll see how it plays out. Uh, and and what they end up doing, we should be getting something next week. Then that's allegedly what what people are are, are speculating that it's going to be an announcement about this. Um, and then we'll see what the timelines and the prices and what all it means and what actually is going to be happening with that. Yeah, we'll just have to see, I guess. Well, boys, that was fun. Uh, Zuzu, what are you up to this week, sir? More Destiny, more Elden Ring. I'm, Am I surprised? My week set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm doing, man. I'm sure Smitty. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely right. for Elden Ring. Got the death counter and everything. It is Part. going nice. high, way too high, way too fast already. I don't even know what any of that means. But uh, guys, please go check out Zuzu. Zukara the Tall. He is seven foot five. If you were curious, now you know. Um, and when I yep. climb his back and get on his shoulders, we become bored. Twitch Voltron. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Smitty, what are you up to this week, my friend? Yo, same things. Destiny, scum, and and I'll be checking out some more of them uh, uh, Kickstarter games that I have. Uh, I might stream tomorrow. We've got a... Uh, Las Vegas Inferno Community Night. We're supposed to be playing. Yeah, we're partnered up with the uh, Voodoo Ranger, the Ooh. only beer that you should be drinking. Uh, <laughs> and um, we're going to be playing uh, Among Us. So that'll be tomorrow at, I believe, 6 or 7 p.m. PST. Uh, and I believe I'm, I am going to stream that. Uh, tomorrow as well so uh looking looking forward to it so nice uh and if you guys yeah. didn't know this podcast 
is uh, not sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, and uh, <laughs> if you're curious what I'm doing, I have no idea. So, yay. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> I am back to streaming. Uh, I'm going to start posting my schedule on Saturdays because I do uh, drive Miss Daisy and her, her three goblins around. Uh, that's my job now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably not a smart one, but I do it. Uh, so yeah, I uh, I am back to streaming, uh, but honestly, I'm probably just going to be uh, shaking my chair enough that all the bolts fall out. That's a true story. All the bolts are falling out of not just this chair, but my makeup chair. And I made Adam oh. come in and see. I was like, "Do you? There's a bolt on the floor, isn't there?" He goes, "Yeah." I said, "Why are all the bolts falling out of my chair?" And he goes, "Cause you sit there and you rock the entire time." It's like, oh, that makes sense. So yep. I'm going to put my chairs back together this weekend, y'all. Uh, <laughs> and with that, thank you for joining us for another CFG Gamecast. If you guys missed an episode, don't worry. You can get it on our website at consfreaksandgeeks.com. We make this live for you every Friday, but we put it out every Monday because we love our audio listeners. So don't miss our sexy, sexy voices. Mm. Zuzu. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you suckers next week. Bye.